everyone, welcome to module 11 on developing vocabulary and concepts. In this module, you're going to have two chapter readings, one from each textbook and one journal article reading. I especially like your journal article reading this week and I think you'll really enjoy it too. It is about the three tiers of vocabulary instruction and it's by Beach et al. 2015. What I really enjoy about this article is the fact that the authors are providing us with examples of the different tiers of vocabulary instruction. This is a great resource for you in looking at vocabulary this week as we look at our three different tiers of vocabulary instruction, tier one, tier two, and tier three. There is a short video on word sorts for vocabulary to watch. Vocabulary really lends itself to creating word sorts and sometimes we might give students the categories up front, and other times it might behoove us to see what kind of categories they create on their own. Sometimes it's really interesting to see how students categorize things. Additionally, this doesn't just happen for vocabulary words. We can use a word sort, well, when it's not words, it would be a card sort for other different things. I recall when I was teaching culinary arts that I used a card sort to look at the different steps needed to create a stock, like say a beef stock or a chicken stock, you know, broth, that base before we do a soup. And for me, it was really important that my students were able to put those steps in the correct order before they went to make a stock. So for me, I had the steps pre-written out, they weren't numbered, they were bagged, students were in groups to go work in their kitchen, they worked together to create the steps needed for their stock. So they moved around their cards and put them all in order. And I had to come check it before they were allowed to go make that stock. So for me, it showed that they were prepared and knew the correct order that things were gonna happen before they even entered their kitchen. Now that's just one example, but there's a lot more examples out there and word sorts or card sorts aren't just for elementary students. And I really wanted you guys to know that. After that, there is a learning objective activity I created for you known as the objective activity. When I taught this class before, I've really noticed that students were never really taught how to write measurable objectives, which to me is just kind of uh, interesting and crazy at the same time. But with that in mind, I want to make sure this is a skill you pick up in this class at least and that you can do later on when you are teaching. Therefore, students have really struggled in writing learning objectives, or this has been an area of weakness for them, and I especially notice it when those lesson plans get turned in. So my preemptive strike here is giving you all an activity that you can complete before you turn in your lesson plan. That way, we as a class and you guys as students can be successful at writing measurable learning objectives. And I wanna provide you that support you need now instead of trying to support you later. Specific directions for this objective activity can be found on Canvas as well as in the document that is provided on Canvas. I am asking you to do something differently with this. You will not submit it on Canvas. Instead, you will email it to me individually directly, and then I can give each of you that detailed feedback you need right now. Now, usually we have a reading response this week. I mean, we normally alternate between a discussion and a reading response. I decided to cut that out of the schedule long before we hit now because I really want you to be working on your lesson plan and turning in very high quality lesson plans. So there is no reading response this module. We will get back to doing those. Next week we'll do the discussion and then the following week we'll get back to a reading response. So if you're wondering where that is, you're not gonna find it because it does not exist this week. Remember to take quiz 10. And finally, as I've been saying all along, the rest of your time should truly be devoted to your lesson plan. I want to see high quality lesson plans in your content area with two embedded reading strategies. Make sure you check out that rubric and are including any supporting documents. And if I can help you in any way with this assignment, please ask me. I'm really here as a resource for you. But if you don't ask me, you can't use me as a resource. Well, Get going on those lesson plans and I'm really looking forward to reading them at the end of this module.